welcome back. To Final Fantasy IX? Three heart. Oh, why am I even saying that? That's not even funny. Why am I trapped in here? Hey, someone let me out! This is no way to treat a lady. Aww. What's up, Mog? Hope Zidane and the others are alright. I'm sure they'll come back for me. So how do you like the special sweets I reserved for each of you? By the way, Zidane is out running an errand for me in return for your safety. But I hate keeping promises. And I so love deceit. So I thought I would give you a special death to remember me by. My palace is home to a magnificent hourglass. As its sands fall, the floors of your rooms will slowly open. Well, isn't it a fabulous idea? Your lives will be spared if the hourglass is reset. If Zidane comes back in time, that is. Oops, just ten more minutes. Better start praying. Farewell, my sweet, lovable morons. There it is again with the morons. It doesn't seem like a word he would say, you know? What? Somebody help me! Yeah, again, terrible voices. Farewell, my sweet, lovable morons. Yeah, he just said that. That's just from the other side, his point of view. That bastard, Kuja. I don't remember the voice I did for Sid. That does it! Ribbit, if I don't save them, no one will. Man, I'm gonna have to think of his, a voice for his other forms. I mean, what other forms? Say, I reset this hour hourglass and locked it just because I was ordered to. What we're doing is wrong, isn't it? Wait, isn't that better than to stop functioning? Come on, let's go back. Turning off that trap again? I still don't understand how you do it. You basically have to turn them all on. You're just thinking too hard. Let's go. Yeah, so basically it just completely gave away just what you're supposed to do here in case you weren't able to tell. So yeah, we get to play a Sid now. How cute. Isn't that awesome? You never would have thought you'd get to play as a frog, would you? Well, you do. It's a Chrono Trigger all over again. He doesn't have a uh, party portrait because he can't even press the triangle menu. Oh my god! That must be the key that we're talking about, Ribbit. Sorry, I got excited because the music is so fucking cool here in the mini game. Get the key. Press the button to go circle button to go forward. So you have to keep shit. Hey, who just said we had ten minutes? I guess we should stand still when the creature looks this way. Yeah. So for some reason, even though it's caged up, the hedgehog. Pie is gonna scare it. Shit! Oh my god, this is very stressful because like, even if you screw. Oh, if only I was a mannequin, I wouldn't fear that beast. Yeah, stop getting scared of it. That's the only reason. You know, our friends are about to die, and the only reason. Shit! And the whole reason that you're. One more try. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to do this as many times as it takes, Sid. And you could slip up, and it's just it's hard. But thankfully, he can stand still as a stone when he's not moving. Like, every time you press circle, he just moves a frame, so... I should probably stop doing it so fast as I was, but... Oh shit, I thought for sure. For years and years, I've tried coming up with lyrics to this song, and I've tried, and I've, I've done it. Not full fully, but some of it's funny. I don't know, maybe if I can, um... Maybe I'll write some and then make that a separate video or something. Because it has to do with the game, otherwise it just doesn't make sense. But yeah, this mini game is a lot of fun, and the music is just so great. It's, I love all these tracks that you only hear once in the game, and they're just always so great. Oh fuck! Oh, shit, run out of time, Sid. Sidolphus. One more try. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then as you get closer, he starts turning around much quicker, and it's just uh, it's like the Cactar game. Except for this is worse than the Cactar game. Though that can be that's debatable. I don't know, I didn't ever find the Cactar game that hard. I'm talking about Final Fantasy X, by the way. In case nobody understands what I mean by Cactar game. Shit. So, what, yeah, if you don't know, we're trying to get that key there. Shit! So maybe you can't do it? I don't know. I'll die if I don't get out. I wonder if it's better than stuff to stop functioning. Oh, Vivi, just settle down, okay? We're... We'll be fine. One more try. Get the key. Yeah, so it does say get the key. I, I probably said that earlier. I honestly don't remember what happens if your time runs out, because usually it doesn't. 
Usually I don't screw up as much as I am, but I am. That's just who I am today. Thank God it's like the summer is like over now. I mean, it's still hot outside. And it is technically still summer. But it's not as hot. Oh my god, jeez, don't do that. Hedgehog pie. The hedgehog pie, I don't know if I... I probably have mentioned this years ago when I started this LP. <laughs> Not literally years ago, but it's been over a year. The same model is used in Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for GameCube. So I just thought you might find that interesting. The annoying thing with this, too, is like right when you get... You're not really as close as you think you are. It's like, you'll get right up to the key and be like, just grab it, Sid, and then he doesn't. And it's like, you have to get really close to the cage. And I mean, why do they even have that in there? It's like, it's not doing anything. What is it protecting? And why would Kuja choose a hedgehog pie? Why do I have so many questions? Yeah, see, the screen moves. You have to go further than you think you do. Oh, shit pressing it an extra time. I don't mean to. See here, it looks like you're like right there, but you're not. No, you gotta keep going. For some reason, I just got a flashback of, to when you're on one of the airships in Final Fantasy 13. That's a long dungeon. You know what's even a longer dungeon in that game? The cave where you have to get Bahamut in? God, I mean, it, and everything in that cave looks so, like, similar. You never know if you're actually making progress, or if you're just lost, or what. I don't know. I, I really like that game, though. I know a lot of people don't. I'd love to play it again. I'm sure they'll like... I mean, I have it and I can play it on the PS3. I'm playing on my PS3 right now. But... I would like to play it on the PS4 just because... Oh, thank God. See, an hourglass key. Yeah, see, now he's not scared of it anymore. It's like, what the hell? Oh, crap. Um, don't even worry about examining the scales. Put weights onto the scales. Um, oh, that's why. Because one of them's clay, wood, stone, and metal. Um... The wood one we don't want, so B, C, and D. I should have examined the fucking clocks or scales. See what the trick is here. We need to jump onto the scale, so we got to put the heaviest um, things on the opposite scale. The yeah, that wood one on the left or on the right there, where it's the lightest, so it's not going to support Sid's weight. He's just a freaking frog. I don't know why it would, anyways. Climb onto the scales. Yeah, see, it's fine. Ooh, 108. That's what we finished at. Just have to turn this upside down, Ribbit. In the hedgehog pie. Ribbit. Now everyone should be alright, Ribbit. Yeah, so that's all that was. Oh, man. The next part of the... Oh, man. See, we're all free. Yay. thought I was a goner. I thought the goys were goners. Goodness, we made it. Aha. You all made it, Ribbit. Huh? You saved us? And it wasn't easy, mind you, but we've got no time to celebrate, Ribbit. I heard from two black mages that there's some kind of trap up ahead. They said you basically just have to turn them all on. Whatever that means, Ribbit. Let's hurry. That's right. We can't just rely on Zidane. We have to work together until Zidane gets back. We can do it if we stick together. Alright, so now we're Ico. You can go back in here and you can see the hedgehog pie. Well, there's nothing really in here. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, there's a Moogle, though. Oh, and it shows the, the right scales we used. I guess it's always going to show this image because you can only use that combination, but whatever. Mojito! What's up, Mojito? Jeez, how much time have we wasted on this episode already? Oh, we don't really need any potions or anything, so we got healers now, which is nice. Um, magnet? Wow, a visitor, Kupo! I need you to deliver a mail for me. A mail. Thanks! The Mogson. Do we need a heal? No, we're good. I thought maybe. Let's go ahead and save, so hang on. Palace Rack. We're at the Palace Rack. You know what? Um, I'm not ending this episode, but I'm ending the recording, so I will see you in a sec when I start recording, whenever that will be. So bye. For a sec. Welcome back, everybody, to Final Fantasy IX. Oh, I, guess, I was kind of saying that as if the episode ended, but it's a new recording, but the episode didn't really end, so... All that aside, um, what I did before I started recording equip some new things here. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. Well, I guess I am. Okay, let's just do it. Uh, magic racket. Obviously, I wanted to get mini. I wanted to get a few other things, but... You know, it doesn't matter. I want to get Panacea, but... just ugh, I should do that, because it's only 15 AP that we need, and she has AP or ability up, but whatever. We won't need that right now. The most important thing is I equip this for Holy. 
and Carbuncle, because we'll all, we'll want Car Carbuncle and Reflect for this uh, dungeon here. Uh, what else do we got? Thank God we did a bunch of chocolate hunting because we got the Whale Whisker, which, as you can see, um, that's Dagger and Kiraga. Uh, also, I equipped the Light Robe because half MP. I'm just kind of going over the most important things here. I did equip like a ton of new equipment for everybody, so I wanted to give water to VV, so that's what we're doing there. Once he's done learning Break and Comet, we can go to the High Mage Staff and learn Meteor. Not that Meteor is really that great. Or is it Comet? That's, yeah, Comet's not that great. Neither of them are really that great, but whatever. Uh, Quinn is pretty much the same. Um, I did equip a few different abilities, um, such as MP plus 10% because we want as much magic as we can. Also level up because he didn't have that, and he's getting he's a little low, so... I equipped a loudmouth on everybody because we don't want anyone silenced. I'm not sure... I'm pretty sure there's enemies that can silence you in this place. As I said, I did equip, equip half MP for Dagger because we want that. Yeah, so we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, not that I'm in a rush to... Did we, did we, we, we did the Magnet, right? Let's just quickly check. Yeah, we got it. I remember it's from Mojito to Mogsam. So, as I said, I'm not excited to get this going because oh, this this dungeon, I just... I think this is the one thing I think about every time I play this game that I just don't want to do. Desert Palace. Cool, the font's all cool because it's all ascending upwards in the middle, just like the statue we have to go ascend to. Um, what, we, what do we need to do here? Yeah, uh, I've all but for completely forgotten how to do this dungeon, so... Yeah, so what we're there's a whole lot of this as you can see here. This is just the introduction to that offering a power, faithful paladin, extract the power to nullify elemental properties from the ring. Inspect the bloodstone. So there's gonna be a lot of candle lighting and a lot of bloodstone touching. What are bloodstones? Well, those are those things. But you get cool items for them, and they're actually very oh no. Well, let's see what it is. It's probably like a coral or that's the only thing I can remember that's in here. Corals and ogres. But yeah, those bloodstones. Um, they're very important for the boss. Oh, that way I was right. Um, inspecting as many as we can. I believe it's as many as we can to get rid of them. So, oh, Tarama. Well, it's a it's a cousin of the Corals. I don't think those are actually in this game, Corals. But, and I know you're probably getting sick of me hearing say, sick of me, oh, sick of me hearing. Si oh, what? Sick of hearing me say Corral because it's a weird word to say. Oh, yeah. There's Shiva. Have I ever shown Shiva yet? I don't think I have. Well, there it is. Did nice, nice damage. Uh, today's been a long day. Not in a bad way, though. Um, it's been actually a really fun day. I went to this um, convention sort of thing that happens every now and then. Where people just kind of bring... like It's mostly businesses that do it, but a lot of, you can bring in your own... Um, it's a toy show. And, you know, people sell stuff. Businesses come in and sell their, their stuff. There's a lot of like old toys and video games and all that stuff. It's really cool. I like going there. I went a couple years ago and got a few th cool things. Uh, I did get Final Fantasy IV for Game Boy Advance sealed uh, a couple years ago when I went. Today, I got a, uh, a whole bunch of cool stuff, but the biggest thing that I got was the the Metroid figure, the big six-inch, like the Jack specific World of Nintendo Metroid figure. How much health do these things have? Jesus. And I unequipped antibody to the. Oh no! Oh yeah, I see that message just popped up. Fa failure to concentrate, digger, whatever. You saw it. Just rewind if you didn't see it. Yeah, so from now until ugh, a while, Dagger will sometimes fail to locomotion. Thanks, because we need to change the equipment that he has on for that. Ooh, the Ralph Imago card. Do we have one of those? I don't know. Well, this video is going to have to end soon because it's already up to like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Shit, what are they doing? Oh, yeah. So Dagger won't be able to concentrate because she's like, you know, in a state of shock and depression right now. So that sucks for her, it sucks for us. Not to be insensitive. It's kind of like she can't, like we don't have enough gym badges to, for her to obey us. But, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, so we gotta do here. I know you have to run over there and come back this way. To see the statue followed me there? The gargoyle? The garg? Well, yeah. But that, uh, the Metroid figure, that's what I got. That's, and it's been really rare. Do I need to do this now? Did you know the goddess? The path will open and that's it. Oh yeah, well. Good, there's nothing to do there. <clears throat> well, I may as well keep talking because I want to talk about that. It's a really... I'm sure you know what it is. Um, I don't know if you... Well, maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> the Metroid figure. It's actually really cool. I didn't realize this, but it's got... Oh, Grimlock, there's another thing that are here. They're like... S the gooey brain part of the Metroid is like actually a rubbery, squishy plastic, and I didn't know that. And yeah, I'm super stoked about that. I haven't opened it yet. It's still technically sealed. 
It was brand new when I bought it, or when they, when I, who I bought it from, bought it. They bought it brand new in like I don't know, a store or something, and they were selling it for forty-five bucks. And I asked if they'd sell it for thirty-five, and I got it for thirty-five. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, I, I can't wait to open it though. Like I don't think it's usually I don't like opening things like that. Oh shit! Is the blue heads? The blue heads are the ones that you have to physically attack them when they're up. I don't know. Let's just go with that and see what happens. <clears throat> Wait, what level are these things? Let's try level 5 death, who knows? Probably like level 24 or something stupid. Damn, I need to put on... The hell's that... The hell's that ability called? You know the one. Stop sleep. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm super stoked to open that. And like I said, I don't like opening my things usually, but I don't really care. I, I don't feel like it's... It's just sealed with like... A couple pieces of tape anyway, so whatever. And I want to touch the squishy brain. It's so cool. Oh, I didn't do anything to them, did it? Oh, it did. Sweet. It's a good thing to know. Those are low, uh, those things are divisible to level 5, so... I don't make a whole lot of sense right now. I'm kind of tired. I've been up since, like, 7-something in the morning. It is now, what, 6.46 p.m.? Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this next room if I don't get to a battle. And then once I do what I need to do in there, finish my business in here, I'll just uh, end off the video. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> I go so keep running like that. So yeah, go over here. Touch this can candelabra. And... Yeah, I don't remember what to do after that. So, next time on Final Fantasy IX, we will continue the Desert Palace. Until then, I have been Shenji, and I will be Shenji next time as well. So, thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.